Good morning. Good morning for me, barefaced and just rolled out of bed. It is, what time is it? It is 8.26 on a Sunday morning. Had a little bit of a lie-in, which was very enjoyable. And today is gonna to be a lovely, slow-paced Sunday, and I'm gonna take you along with me. And most importantly, later on today, I'm gonna to show you my scrapbooking process, because when I shared my scrapbooking two vlogs ago, you guys were like, can you just show us how you actually put it in the book and how you do it? And I'm like, I got you guys. I'm gonna do that this afternoon, so I will take you along and show you. But for now, it's 8.30, we have our friend Jack staying over, he stayed over last night. Um, so I think we're gonna get up, go get a coffee and go to a workout class together this morning, which will be a nice start to our Sunday. I'm just gonna put my socks on, but let me tell you, yesterday I went for a walk in Richmond Park with my friend Hazel, and I wore these new walking boots, which I got, and they gave me the worst blisters. I would show you, but it's actually, it's awful. Like the whole back of my foot is like red, raw, so tender. Like I kept waking up in the night with how much they were hurting, even just touching the sheets. <laughs> so I'm kind of scared to put my trainers on. But I feel like you've got to go through that process when you get a new pair of boots. You've just got to embrace the pain for a while, but it's just not very fun. And also like these are, they're walking boots, but they're kind of like fancy looking walking boots. And I just feel like my Merrill walking boots, which I've told you guys about before, they've never given me a single blister. So I'm like, is this even worth it? Because, oh, the pain. The pain, the pain, the pain. Oh, putting my socks over them. Wow. Here we go, Dr. Anthony, with his first aid kit, is sorting out my blisters. I wonder what Rupi and Hazel would think of this. Yeah. I know, <laughs> they'd be like, it's a little, little bit makeshift, guys. Bella's watching. Thinking, what the hell is going on? Anderson. Jack's here. Hi, Jack. Hey. <laughs> Jack is being. I'm the nurse, and the doctor, nurse. and I'm just assisting with her. Uh... Snipping the tape. <laughs> God. It's brutal. Honestly, it's the size. That's like the size of a two pound coin. That is massive. Mate, it's bigger than a two pound coin. It's a big blister, isn't it, lads? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Staring me in the face. You should give it a name if it's that big. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Jack. And here we go. Here are my finished, bandaged little heels. Fingers crossed I'm not in too much pain in this workout class. Uh, you guys aren't exactly going to be going in the Cheers, gang. Cheers. Cheers. A little coffee. Oat milk latte for me, as always. Have a fun workout. Bye. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs> See ya. See ya, Jack. See ya. See ya. Yes. Ah, uh, guys. I am not at the gym with the boys. I basically drove them up in the Beamer. We went and had a little coffee. And then I dropped them off at the gym. And they are doing their workout. But my blisters... <laughs> They are so bad that when I tried to put on my trainers, I just couldn't even walk. It was so, so, so painful. Even with all the bandaging and the wrapping that Ant and Jack put on, it was just too much. So I've accepted that my feet need to be shoeless for the foreseeable future. So I'm actually just wearing these. These are like my fluffy Birkenstocks so that my heels can get some air and dry out and hopefully get better. But yeah. They are just so, so painful and I'm so gutted because number one, I paid for this gym class and now I'm gonna lose money. And number two, because I don't get to enjoy the fun with the boys. So yeah, and also another thing that went wrong this morning is I tried to drive them in the Tesla and my Tesla, Terence's screen wouldn't turn on. So I had to, anyway, I had to drive them in the Beamer and now I'm home and now I've managed to fix the screen. So, so that's positive, but yeah, bit of a, bit of a messy start to my Sunday. Couldn't do my workout. The Tesla wasn't turning on. And uh, anyway, it's all turned on. It's all getting more positive. And I'm home. And am I going to train today? Maybe I'll do something, but I have to do it shoeless. So I can't do anything that's like high intensity. I can't even wear socks because my heels need to get um, some air. So yeah, anyway, let's go into the house and let's see what I, what I, what I can do with the rest of my day. I mean, I'm going to scrapbook, but... 
I just, I wanted to train. I wanted to train. Hello. Hello, darling. Are you gonna boost my mood? Are you gonna give me all the struggles and all the purrs? Don't look at my heels, they're not very pretty right now, hey? This is Bella's current favourite spot. The, the floor of our ensuite bathroom because it's got underfloor heating and she just gets so nice and warm. And you can tell when she's been in here because she'll come running up to you and you just touch her and she's like, she's like an arga, she's like a furry arga. She's so warm from sitting on this floor. You just love it, don't you? You love a little bit of underfloor heating. And Anna and I want to turn the heating down in here to save money, energy. save money, energy? save money and save energy but it just brings her so much joy that we're really hesitant. <laughs> but maybe we should. But I just love to see you happy. I just love to see you happy and you love it in here, don't you? I've decided I'm gonna train. I'm just gonna do something at home with no shoes on. <laughs> I might just set a timer for 30 minutes of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off and just do like a full body just do random exercises that come to mind, probably do low impact, as I said, because I can't really like jump around when I'm barefooted. So yeah, I'm gonna train because I feel like I was really ready to train this morning and then I couldn't and I have FOMO. So yeah, I'm just gonna set a timer, do 30 minutes, move my body and hopefully that will make me feel good. But yeah, I'm feeling much more positive now. I'm feeling much more positive. I had a little bit of a wobble where I was like, Wow, my feet are in so much pain. But yeah, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm still gonna move my body. So this is what I've done. I've just set up 30 intervals of 40 seconds work, 20 seconds of rest, 10 second warm up. So it'll be a 29 minute workout. And then let's put some tunes on. Should we do throwback workout? You can't go wrong with a little bit of Nelly Furtado, Outcast, Rihanna, yes. <laughs> really good. I felt really good and I feel full of endorphins. <laughs> so Jack and Anne have gone to play golf. It is midday exactly, exactly midday. I've showered, I've put on a nice thick layer of fake tan because I've got a photo shoot tomorrow and I am going to make myself some lunch and then start scrapbooking so I will show you what I eat. Here is my lunch today. I've got some lentils, which I've fried up with some pesto, some tomatoes, some mushrooms, and I have topped it with some vegan cheese, some flat leaf parsley, and some pumpkin seeds. So I'm gonna sit down, eat that, and also watch this TED talk called Why You Will Marry the Wrong Person. I've heard it's amazing, so I'm giving it a little watch. Everyone who we love is going to disappoint us. We start off with idealization, and we end up often with denigration. Wow. That YouTube video is incredible. It's titled, Why You'll Marry the Wrong Person, but I think the lessons that are within it don't just apply to romantic relationships, they apply to any connection you have with another human being, whether it's a friend, a family member, or a romantic partner, and I think it's valuable for every single person to watch because it just encourages us all to have compassion and patience with other human beings because ultimately, every single one of us is flawed and I think he said, what do you say? You cannot have perfection and company. So ultimately, if you go around expecting the people around you to be completely perfect and fulfill all of your needs and be exactly how you want them to be, you're not gonna have anybody around you because nobody will ever fulfill that need. And being human and being compassionate is ultimately tolerating other people's weaknesses and accepting that as part of just being a human because ultimately we all have our own weaknesses. Oh my God, this, video so good so good it's definitely a concept that i've already considered before there's an article that ant and i read we were having quite a few arguments at the time this was a couple of years ago and the article was all about basically having a strong relationship is releasing expectations of who, who your partner should be and learning to compromise and actually compromising isn't a bad thing, it's actually a good thing to compromise and to settle, not like settle for somebody who treats you badly, but to 
settle on a middle ground between who you and your partner expect each other to be and to both try and learn and grow from your experience of coexisting. Just putting it out there guys, check out this video. It is amazing. It's just really got me thinking. It's really got me thinking how every single one of us is flawed in our own way and the only way we're going to happily coexist with other human beings around us is to accept each other warts and all. And of course, as I said, there's space to learn and grow and there's space to teach each other um, and to learn more about ourselves and develop self-awareness of our own flaws. But yeah, I think compromise, patience, acceptance, tolerance are such a big part of human existence and yeah this video just really got my brain churning so check it out check it out check it out please excuse the fact that bella is giving herself a little little clean right there but the dining table is set up and ready for me to start my scrapbooking so let me show you how i lay it out i'm going to try and take you guys through the process as much as i can of how i do it because i do have a system in place so as you saw in the previous vlog, these are my stacks for each different theme. So I have like Mallorca, Sussex, Wales, Tenerife, Family Time, Stay Wild, etc, 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 each with the scraps and the photos. And then over here is my scrapbooking station. So I will leave this book linked down below. This is actually a sketch pad, but I just like the size of it, so I use it as my scrapbook. And I just get one that has big, plain pages with nothing on it, and then I have all of my scrapbooking goodies, so I have different pens, quit stick, sellotape, stickers. Also in this bag, my scrapbooking bag, I have different papers that I can use, like different printed papers that I can cut out and stick to make it look cute. So yeah, this is my scrapbooking bag. It is literally falling apart at the seams, but it has all of my goodies in for my annual scrapbooks. And let's get started, but first I need a cup of tea. Sunny categorically denied the claims, but will this defense strategy work? It's been a busy week in the criminal trial of Elizabeth Holmes. Okay, so I've got my cup of tea, I've got my water, I'm listening to a podcast, I'm actually listening to, let me open it for you. This podcast, The Dropout, Elizabeth Holmes on Trial, which I'm really enjoying, and I just finished my opening page, which says 2021. I just do this at the start of every single scrapbook that I have, and I just frame it with some little details. And I just keep it super simple. That is enough. And I'm gonna start my next spread. And now what I'm gonna do is pick one of these stacks to begin with. What shall I do? I think I'm gonna do Bella, because Bella joined our family in January, so it feels like a nice thing to kickstart the scrapbook with. So what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna go through this, and I'm gonna lay out the pictures and scraps on this double page spread, and potentially a second page spread, as I would imagine them being stuck in. So I kind of like play around, so I might go, okay, that one goes there, that one goes there, this picture goes up here, text is going to go here etc etc and just like lay out the pages how I imagine it happening and then I start sticking but I don't just go in and start sticking straight away I have to like lay out the pages work out what images I want to use what scraps I want to stick in in what layout and then then I start sticking so now that you're on the other side of this even in the midst of this high state Okay, so this is my final layout that I'm going to do for this page. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim some of the photos. For example, this picture here, I need to trim off the top so that this bottom half will fit here. So I'm just going to trim the photos, stick them in, and then I'll do the title up here. That's standard operating procedure. It's a course training that goes between both sides as predictors because those are... And people who have been wronged in the medical... And here we go. This is my first double page spread, all done. I've done my little title with some poor prints, a little bit of information about when Bella joined our family. And then just all my favorite pictures of her, her snuggling with Anne in bed, in her dens, cuddles, out in the sunshine, hanging out with Aunt, all that good stuff. So yeah, first double page spread done. Let's keep cracking.
good evening and it's back from golf. How was golf? It was good. It was it was cold. How did you play? But it did not rain and it was not windy. Uh, I was very rusty. Rusty. I've not played since oh November last year. It's been a little while, so we're good mm. to get back on the course, hey? Yeah, it's good. So I picked up this plant life nut roast because it was reduced at Way to Rose the other day. So I thought we'd have a nut roast tonight. I'm still scrapbooking. I have two more piles to get through. So Ant's going to take over dinner tonight and he's just going to shove that in the oven. oven with some of the veggies and roast it up. And then we can do some Bisto gravy and that'll be dinner. Super simple, yeah? Yeah, sounds easy. Yeah. What's for dessert? Maybe ice cream? Yeah, we've got ice cream. We do have some ice cream. We ate a whole tub last night. Yeah, we ate a whole tub last night. We did. So yeah. Oh, we've got some of those bites that Jack brought over as well. Yeah, we've, we've got, got we've got snacks and treats. We've anyway, got, we've got options. We've got options. But for now, Ant's cooking, I'm scrapping. I'm chopping. Yeah, check in with you in a bit. And here is dinner tonight. Thank you so much, babe. You're welcome. We have got our nut roast, sprouts, parsnips and carrots. And of course, lots of gravy, which is over here on the table. The limit does not exist with gravy. I always like to go quite heavy on it, you know? So we have just finished off dinner and just before dinner, I finished off my 2021 scrapbook. So as you can see, I actually added some little floral and planty stickers to my front page. And then in terms of how it's arranged as I go along, like each page or double page spread or more than that if it's a big topic is a specific thing for example here is bella's initial double page spread as we go in and then as we flip on staycations so we have my sussex staycation my new forest staycation come on page turn we have the lakes cornwall and then we start going abroad to mallorca to tenerife to gran canaria to all of that good stuff and then as we get further on into the scrapbook we get away from travels and we get into oh we've got loads of pages about mexico because obviously mexico is amazing and then we have things like family time so here's lots of pictures of me and my family and we've got work, we've got social media, we've got my birthday, we've got Christmas, we've got Surrey, we've got so much. So basically, it's done, it's jam packed, and I'm absolutely buzzing. So I'm gonna leave a link down below to this specific sketchbook, which I use as my scrapbook. And if you wanna give this a go, I highly recommend it. I have done one of these scrapbooks for every single year of my life since the first year of university, which was when I was 18 and I'm turning 30 this year. So I've done them for 12 years, 12 years of scrapbooks. And I'm just so grateful that I have had the determination and persistence to do this for so long because I just can't wait for the day when I am old and gray and wrinkly. And I look back on these books and I think, blimmin' heck, what a wonderful life I have lived. So, I really, really think it's important to put our memories into things like this and to make sure that we savour the moments and capture them so that we don't forget them and we can look back on them with our loved ones in years to come. So yes, I do my scrapbooks every single year and it's such a calming, therapeutic and satisfying process. So I just really, really, really encourage you to do it. It's so enjoyable and I'm so grateful that I have all these memories all scrapbooked up for me to look back on. Anyway, it is almost 8 p.m. and I think we're gonna go next door and watch some Netflix. Hola. Hola. Que tal? I'm good. Good. Bien, bien, bien. Bien, bien. Bueno, bueno. I don't know if I'm saying the right things. But basically, we're gonna end the vlog here. I was gonna end it in the living room, but Anne's been faffing around, shaving. I've had a shave. Getting himself all fresh. <laughs> and I'm gonna wash my face. And then we are gonna watch an episode of Cheer, aren't we, on Netflix? I'd like to find something different. Please! I'd like to find something different! <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? Yes. Yeah, okay. Please! Well, let's, yeah. I'll go down now and have a look. See what else is on. We're not watching something to do with the army or military or wars. What's happened to you, Tom? Where's the rest of it? Listen. I want to watch something light-hearted, okay. like an American cheerleader program, okay? Okay. If you can find an equivalent... Oh, oi! If you can find an equivalent... 
Let me know if I really want to watch it, please. Okay. <laughs> Are you going downstairs? Yeah. Ooh. Do you want a slice of the apple? No. Cool. <laughs> See you later. Okay. See you. Oh, God. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please click subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. Leave I'm a comment. Gonna, yeah, leave a comment. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I'm going to wash my face and then I'm going to get downstairs and try and convince Ant to let us watch Cheer because we watched the no first... No chance. Actually, <laughs> we watched the first two episodes last night and I really liked it. Please. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Bye.